Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelox, and this is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I have to admit, I was you know, kind of skeptical about this title because I've been skeptical skeptical of all AAA titles this year. I've been disappointed so many times. But uh, this one is looking good. I really liked Human Revolution. I actually, it's one of the games I finished just before I started recording videos and streaming. And uh, I wish I wish I had recorded a series for that because I enjoyed the game so much. And I, of course, enjoyed the original Deus Ex way back in the day. Such a revolutionary game. Um, the second one, I even played uh, Invisible War, I believe it was called, and uh, disappointing. But I still enjoyed it because I just, I love sci-fi stealth-based games. Um, so I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Uh, this this episode is going to be uh, more of a recap episode for the previous game because I think there's a recap cinematic, which uh, I'm going to need because it's been a while since I played uh, Human Revolution. And I'm sure it's been a while since you guys have, have seen anything on it. And then uh, I think there's like a tutorial mission that we need to go through. So this first video is going to be that and then, uh, and then the next one's probably going to be jumping right into the thick of things. So let's uh let's get started without further ado i'm really looking forward to this i'm really excited i hope you guys are too and uh let's start it up we're gonna go there's a couple of options here give me a story play uh you play games for their story and experience not for their challenge or competitiveness enjoy the deus experience i i'm like tempted to do this because i'm not really playing this as a challenge i'm playing it more for the 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 atmosphere the story the writing the characters and and that stuff but I want a bit of a challenge, so I'm going to go with uh, give me a challenge. You enjoy a good story and a good challenge. This is how the game is meant to be played. Um, I should talk about kind of my approach to these games. I like to try to take people out from uh, from range. So, like, I like to use sniper rifles, and I like to sneak around. I like to try to outthink my opponents. I tr kind of treat the situations as like a puzzle, and I try to come up with a plan to navigate through the levels, the missions, whatever you want to call them. Um, without being detected and also with, with killing as few people as possible. So I don't know if I'm going to be a complete pacifist because there's going to be, there's going to be situations where we screw up and we're going to have to kill people invariably. I, I bet. And I'm not going to like keep reloading just as I kill someone. I want to try to get through this, uh, with as few kind of like loads as possible, but if I remember Human Revolution, it was pretty tough, and I remember having to, like, reload a few times, so... Uh, and I, I, you know, I'm not the greatest player in the world, so invariably, I'm gonna die. I know it's gonna happen. So, I'm gonna go with Give Me a Challenge, Deus Ex... I don't know. Maybe some other time. <laughs> Alright, let's just jump right into it, guys. I, I just want to play. I'm super excited. Yes. Uh, recap video. Yeah, so we're gonna watch a 12 minute recap video. This is as much for me as it is for you guys because it's been a while So let's let's just jump into the recap video and see what happened in Human Revolution Maybe you haven't even uh, seen Human Revolution played at all. So here we go The year was 2027 Advances in biotechnology were helping people improve their physical and mental abilities to an amazing degree Provided of course they had enough money. A new breed of people was emerging, half human, half machine. And in Detroit, at least, not everyone was happy to see it. I'd just landed a job as head of security at Seraph Industries, a cutting edge biotech firm. David Seraph himself handpicked me for the job, said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex, Megan Reed, was one of them. A brilliant neuroscientist. Megan had found a way to make augmentation safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of black op mercenaries stormed into Seraph headquarters, massacring everyone in sight. Three of the mercs were heavily augmented walking tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and her team. I tried to stop them, but their leader tossed me through a plate glass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullet slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. Only I didn't. High-end military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarah's money could buy. It took me half a year to get a feel for her. 
Should have taken longer. But six months into my recovery, Saraf Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation. They claimed to be members of Humanity Front, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Seraph's factory and found machinists working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Seraph sent me to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The Og killed himself before I could question him. Saraf ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Saraf's head of cybersecurity, I did. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the Og's actions from somewhere off-site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret FEMA internment camp in Detroit. The Black Op mercenaries were there. The same mercs who'd left me for dead six months before. Figured they'd try again when they saw me. Wasn't so easy for them this time. I took out the tank named Barrett. Even got him to give me a new lead. A penthouse apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the end. Hengsha Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Oh yeah, that was so Trying awesome. To find clues in Hengsha wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. It's all coming back to me. Farida Malik, Seraf Industries' ace pilot, had lived in Hengsha before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Malik dropped me in the lower city, close to the penthouse Barrett had told me about. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm under contract to the Chinese government, had agents tossing the suite when I arrived. Just not for the reason I'd been expecting. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Bruggen. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the AUG in Sarah's factory. Van Bruggen's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were gunning for him, and I needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Bruggen meant playing nice with the Triads, Hengsha's organized crime lords. They had the hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Bruggen had no qualms giving up the woman who hired him. Zhao Yunru, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Bruggen, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry and had hired black op mercenaries to destabilize her competition. Seraph Industries was at the top of her list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off a server. I suspected Van Bruggen was hiding something when he told me this, but nothing could have prepared me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers had been kidnapped, spirited away somewhere while their kidnappers made it look like they were dead. Desperate to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan, and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the alarm, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying, but part of her confession made sense. David Seraph had been worried about his people. So worried, he'd required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPLs would have been broadcasting the day of the attack. But Zhao sent a single call to Picus, the world's leader in global 24-hour satellite news, and turned those signals off. I needed to fly to Picus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan. Pika's communications first lady of news. Malik thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Cassan in her office, 
She freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Said she's just been following her commands. I suspected she wanted to say more. But Black Op mercenaries showed up looking to shut us both down. And just like that, the allies I had been talking to disappeared. The mercs were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before. Fedorova. A woman who'd made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Pikus complex. Then jumped me from behind. I had so much trouble with this fight. Ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Fedorova down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Pikus' first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor the oh, yeah, and right. okay. what people believed. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientist's implanted tracking devices while Detroit's satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I wanted to learn more. By the time Malik and I got back to Detroit, Tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached a flashpoint. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being urged to intervene. Seraph was trying hard to convince Hugh Darrow, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies, to help stop a possible regulatory vote. Seraph had a lot riding on Darrow. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to evolve beyond their normal human abilities. And at the same time, catapulted Seraph Industries to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Seraph, Megan's kidnappers knew this, and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval via America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Taggart. Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He'd merely switched them to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace one of the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, the Illuminati were one step ahead. Now, there were some choices made during the game. I wonder what the canon choices are going to be. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering Hengsha's airspace. Malik's piloting skills saved me. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into Lower Hengsha. The tracking signal I was following led straight to the triads. Or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong Si Hung. Mm, they didn't tell us there what happened to her. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door. Meaning, at least one of Seraph scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a port used for human trafficking and helped me slip aboard a bell tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there and using them to perfect the Hyron project, a human computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. Right, right, right. Okay. My search for Megan would have ended then, if not for a mysterious ally named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Bell Tower, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati-run biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Seraph's scientists were there, forced by their captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already have the biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, oh, I tracked fight. Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Namir, the walking tank who put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He'd teamed up with Zhao and was hoping to catch me off guard. Their little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, the billionaire philanthropist who Sarah had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. 
As she was explaining this, Garo appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a killing frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Panchea, a massive installation okay. in the Arctic Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by an all-augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. I remember this is like the zombie part Still, of the game. humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to this sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? Only time to give us the answers. Oh, they're not covering the ending either. Because there was a lot of choice for the ending. I think there's like 12 different endings. Interesting. Oh, here we go, guys. <laughs> thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. Another virtual reporter? Jeez. Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go and embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa, are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Is there a part of some good. army, I guess? Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Okay, okay. It's a non-augmented army. All of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is a run scene. The undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. But three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. Cool. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real it's quite fast. quite the scar that no guy one, has. Except for some homeless junkies have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. Of course we are. Objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. Just to be sure.
Oh, I see. We get to choose. Uh, so lethal hardware or non-lethal. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one. <laughs> if he's not the only one breathing when he, when this is done. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Um, I am gonna try to go non-lethal. So let's just let's pick that. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of white spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Um... Like I said, I like uh, I like to kind of operate from a distance if I can, so I'm going to go with the Tranquilizer Rifle. Not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Sing that way. One last thing, Jensen. Sing said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. Not if good. it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. <laughs> Time to put away your heavy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Here we go, guys. They're in Dubai. 2029. This is Night Leader. Engage us drives and descend to Angels 1-5. And we're in! Okay, guys. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block us at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like there might be multiple routes that we can take. Wow, look at all the seagulls. It's an army. This looks really cool. Press shift to sprint. So, um, I'm going to be spending a fair amount of time trying to figure out the game. Let's see, control scheme. Uh, yeah, I already kind of fixed some of the uh, the controls. Um, you're going to see some uh, weird setup, guys. I have a bit of a different way of playing uh, first person shooters. Icarus straight. Okay. So, there's. Oh, cool. Air shaft gate. Let's, let's try this way. Ugh. Search. Uh, credit chip. Nice. And what's this? Triangle code. Added to database. What is that? Scan. Uh, use the DSX universe phone. Oh, God. No, thanks. I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, 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 no. Not interested in Deus Ex phone apps, thank you. Oh, I can throw the handsaw? Item manipulation, so I can rotate. Oh, I see. Then I can throw it if I want to. Nice. And we can jump really high. I wonder how many different ways there are through these missions. Holy crap! Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. 
Gonna have to hack keypads. Jenny's. Oh. Enjoy, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Jenny's. I guess he means like, um, like keypads. I don't know. Check whole vent. Okay, nice. Making a lot of noise though. More dead bodies. Anything interesting on this level? I don't see anything down there. Okay, so what's this? Made in Germany. <laughs> it's just these are just throwable objects. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the sandstorm coming in. But this is really cool. Alright, looks like we've got some obstructions here. Just throw that off, you know. I'm sure no one's gonna notice. What's this? Uh, duct tape? Could be useful. No, we're not gonna take it. Wonder what's over this way. Looks like it could be maybe an alternative route. Maybe not then. Pretty detailed environment, I'm liking this. Press B to open the augmentation wheel. To equip smart vision, press middle mouse button to assign it and exit the augmentation wheel with escape. Okay, so we've got leg silencers. Also, we can assign them each a slot. So F1 is, uh, is the leg silencers. F2 is... Oh, it's not assigned, okay. F2 is Smart Vision, F3 will be Typhoon, and F4 will be Glass Shield Cloaking. I just removed it because it was already assigned. Yeah, let's try F2. Structural Weakness. Now, is there battery depleting? It looks like it is. You can see it in the bottom left. Does it increase over time again? It does. Okay, good. So can we smash this? Nice. I thought there was uh, needed an augmentation to do that in the first game. Quick inventory. Uh, the quick inventory allows you to access items on the fly. Tap the tab to access the inventory. Select an uh, item and press the corresponding number key to assign the selected item to that slot. Yeah, I get it. Oops, that's, yeah, that's tab, um, inventory's here. What do we have? Um, looks like some Typhoon ammo. We've got our tranquilizer rifle. We've got, um, gas grenades. Let's assign that to two. Smoke grenades to three. Uh, what do the gas grenades do exactly? Riot, CS Center, Tactical, so functionality. Release a cloud of anis, uh, anesthetizing gas that knocks out any target caught in it. Excellent. Go back. Um, Tranquilizer rifle ammo. Bio cell. I assume that's for recharging our uh, powers. And then hypostim injector. No, no, this is one, this is four. Okay, so if I need to heal, um, I use a hypo stim injector, I believe. Let me just use to recover half of the health meter. If health is already full, consumption will raise it above the maximum until damage is received. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So if we know we're about to get into a fight, we could use it to uh, to top up to put our health above max, so we don't have to use it during the fight. 
keypad is disabled. Or part of the keypad. Let's, uh, these are enhanced view. Okay, we can see a couple people over there. That's really cool. What else can we see? Okay, it looks like we need to make it there, maybe? Use the breaker. Good. What's this? Consume biocell. So I can consume it or I can pick it up. Another guide. Select an item and click to view available options. Cycle between inventory. Yeah, gotcha. So what else do we have in our tab menu? We've got augmentations. Lots of stuff. So there's stuff for cranium. It looks like that's mainly for hacking. Two of two. Looks like we already have a bunch of uh, augmentations, which is surprising. Does that mean that we're going to lose some? Like we just have some for the tutorial? Is, uh... Or maybe it's supposed to represent that, you know, we already finished the first game, so we already have some powerful augmentations. Health system. Arm prosthesis. Weapon handling. We've got the Icarus landing already. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm surprised we have all this stuff. Flash shield cloaking. Cybernetic leg prosthesis. That's why we can jump so high, too. Uh, crafting. Oh, nice. So it looks like we can pick up, like, scrap or something and, uh, craft stuff. Looks pretty simple, though. I can mark it by. Secondary. Jam the signal booster. So th that, that Wi-Fi signal booster thing is a secondary objective. Satcom signal booster set up somewhere in the penthouses. Okay, we'll try to do that. Side missions, point of interest, history. Cool. And we have a map. Don't see too much right now, though. History and... Oh, we can go over our guides again if we want to. Okay. Let's continue on. Whoa, okay. We don't want to... Uh... I'm assuming we don't want to touch that floor, so let's go back up the way we came. Oh, wow. You can climb on uh, a lot of stuff. Good to know. So I assume we're going to have to hack this keypad. Unless you guys know the passcode. I don't know it, so let's hack it. Use the mouse to navigate between nodes. Yeah, a port. We can fortify it. Want to. I guess the fortifying will stop the um, the the security, the diagnostic node, I guess, from from capturing us because it's got to travel through the I/O port. How would we get to the directory? It's only one way. Weird. Okay, capture nodes. So we'll start with this directory. Anomaly detected. We want to make it over to the registry, I assume. That's green. This is a lot like Human Revolution. Diagnostic will trace back to the IO port. Okay. Registry has been breached, device has been unlocked. Awesome. Now, there's a couple of guys over here, so let's crouch down. See what's up. Cover tutorial, tutorial mode, cover possibilities. Um, let's, let's go ahead and do the tutorial mode, just to see if this is any different. Move to the green hologram and press F to take cover. Aim at the, uh, cover next to the green hologram and press E to move from your current cover to the next. Vault over, okay. Is he gonna also enter cover there? Okay, perfect. Hold a movement key in the direction of the green hologram and press E to roll over to the cover. So I'm holding to the right and E. Excellent. Move to the right to switch direction and move to the other corner. Got it. Holding E. So it's a lot like Human Revolution. That's good. Aim at the next cover and press E to vault over. So I guess I have to yeah, enter cover there. We want to enter cover there. 
That's neat. Aim at the next screen hologram. That's right here. Run out of cover and back into first person. And then, oh, tutorial completed. Do you want to exit or reset and retry the tutorials in any order? Um, I'm good. I think I get it. Go time. There's two guys here. Why would I, why don't I just do this though? We take this guy down. Okay, so I can do a uh, non-lethal takedown. Let's do that. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to hide the bodies because they can they can see them, right? Okay, there's a guy for takedowns. Takedowns have an energy cost. They are not available if the minimum energy threshold is not full. Lethal takedowns are more noisy and run a higher risk of creating disturbances, but they can completely neutralize an NPC. Non-lethal takedowns are less noisy, so the risk for disturbance is lower. However, NPCs can eventually be woken up by allies. Unless they're not seen. Looks like we have a few... Do we have a few directions to go in here? Let me pop uh, over here. Yeah. And I want to check out um, this area. Let me see if is there anyone around? Nope. I don't see anyone. Now what's this? Throwable toolbox, okay. A lot of throwable stuff. This is above where we were looking before. Could take this guy with the sniper rifle, but I'm gonna just try to avoid him. I love I love games uh, where you can crawl around in the rafters. This is basically this is like how I played Dishonored. Just don't know. I don't know what their field of vision is like. What if I? Okay, I thought maybe switching to that mode would let me see it. Looking good so far. What's this? Some kind of uh, newspaper. Digital paper, I should say. Okay, I see some ammo, I think, down there. Oh no, it's... <laughs> that's not ammo, that's like uh, beer, I think. Great beer! To make it to there. I'm gonna go around this way. I think there's just the one guy, right? No, there's two. Oh shit, he can see me, he can see me, he can see me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Get away. Alright, so now I'm getting an idea for what their like cone of vision is. What is it? What's down here that I don't want to get? Not quite sure. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. Okay, what's in here that's, that's so great? Okay, now we, when we're on the same level as them, it looks like we can see their cones of vision. There's something in the locker. Got some stuff while we can. What was this? Okay, it's coming over. Gotta be careful, don't want to be seen again. So what did we get there? We got uh, some credits. What's this? Nice, Rai. Used to recover a fair amount of health at the cost of impaired vision. 
If health is already full, consumption will temporarily raise it above the maximum. <laughs> Classic alcohol in video games. That's hilarious. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll equip this just in case, like, in case of an emergency. Was that all there was here? I think he's turning away. Nope. It's walking backwards. Nothing. Pistol. Tranquilizer ammo. Stun gun ammo. Can I open this? Can't seem to, uh... Okay, let's get back. Oh shit, I made noise. So I'm gonna try to drop down from above, um, in between the guards. And open up the, uh, that door over there. Assuming that's where I need to go. They should be able to jump on top of this heavy plastic crate and then into the rafters. Now, hold on a second. I want to take a look at this. So... The Typhoon leg silencers. Maybe I should um, hit the leg silencers when I drop down. Is this guy gonna move? There we go. In what direction is he facing? Okay, there we go. Woo! Um, penthouses. That was close. Let's turn those off. Pretty well executed. Um, I'm trying to get an idea for, like, whether or not the guards can see me, like what angles they can see me at, so I did get spotted. But it's pretty easy to get away from, uh, to, like, um, get away from, get them off their alert status. Stealth tutorial, uh, mm, I'm cool, I, I get it. Moving silently, cloaking, and distractions. Okay, fine, they're gonna teach us about distractions. I'm, I'm cool with it to see how this game works. F4 to activate the glass shield cloaking augmentation. I really don't like this augmentation. I, I tried to avoid using it in Human Revolution because it's just cheesy, but let's just go along with it for the tutorial. I'll decide whether or not I wanna use it. So now, what, I'm like, invisible? Like silencer. Can I really just walk right by him? Pick up an object and throw it, okay. Wow. That is, okay. <laughs> the fact that you can just walk right by them, um, I don't, I don't like that. I prefer the like tension that's created from like trying to sneak by them. And if you get caught, you get caught, right? And you have to deal with it. So, um, next tutorial, and we'll. I don't know if I'm gonna use that very much. Or to try to like actually sneak by. Shit. Oh. oh my god, that's not good. Maybe I should uh, quick save here just in case. Um, yeah, E, hold. Oh, it's holding E is for going around in the corner, right? I have to hit E. I don't mind using the, uh, like, throwing stuff as a distraction. I Even that, though, I like to just kind of to try to like navigate around without creating distractions either. I don't want them to know I'm here at all. Oh, 
مالناش الاشاره لحد دلوقتي. We can go up also. No, 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 no. Wrong button. I don't think I can go up there. He's looking. Okay, now's the time. We have to be careful here. Where did the other guy go? Yeah, he's over there. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna jump up here. Good. Observation grid. Last thing we need is the comms breaking down. Talking about the comms breaking down. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's tilled a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. Combat tutorial. Okay, let's do it. Exceeding max health, grenades, and typhoon augmentation. That was fast. Sorry, I, I cancelled the, uh, the dialogue there. That sucks. V to open the quick inventory. Okay, nice. I can also just hit V and it pauses the game, I guess. Minus to use a hypo stim injector and boost the health meter. Um, I get it, I can just hit one. It's a hologram. Um, okay. S4 and throw grenades. Why would I want to throw it over there? Oh, they want me to get over there, I guess. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't understand. Why would I want to, like... Move like this. What I probably do is, oh, it's a gas grenade. Okay, I, I get it. So if I can just like throw it over, see what happens. Watch yourself. Let me just shoot this guy. Sometimes I have to shoot him. Okay, there we go. He's tranquilized now. Okay, that was really poorly executed. <laughs> but this is the tutorial mode, so I'm fine with it. Activate the typhoon augmentation. Okay, that's what it wanted me to do. I can't raise that. Is the typhoon lethal? I'm not, I can't remember. Okay, we did it! Um, exit. That's not the way I'm gonna do it, but... McCready, how you making Good to out? know. Slower than expected. It's like someone's tilled a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. McCready's not a fan of our augmentations, I can tell. Okay, so can I one-shot this guy? Actually, you know what? Why? I don't even need to take him out. Like, why do, why do I have to go that way? Unless, um, this is the way to the communications thing. Let me use... Okay, so that guy's down there. Over 
over there. Gotta be something over here. Like, why... Why is this area here if it's telling me to go that way? not good. That was risky. Okay, what's what's over here? Anything? Bodies? Oh, I could search them. Okay. Credit chips. Why not? I don't know what I do with the credit. Oh. يتحركوا بسرعة شوية لو الريحة ها جد علينا هنموت trying to take this guy out if I can avoid it I don't know I guess that's just to get like oh there's an elevator let's, try, let's see where that elevator takes us Rooftops, penthouse. Is this an alternate way to get down here? Sorry guys, I'm just exploring a bit to see uh, if I can find the that satellite, uh, that Wi-Fi booster or whatever it is. They'll have access to the atrium. No, 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 this is, this is just sending me back up. Oh, no! Go down, 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 down. Shit! Okay, I went around in a circle. <laughs> Apparently. That's hilarious. So, is that, is now, is everyone going to be alerted now? Because this could be really bad. God, I didn't even realize I went around like in a circle. No, they're not. Okay. Why does he stay in cover? <laughs> that was close. All right. It doesn't turn around. Whoa, 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 I got turned around there. It's just not good. Think we could lose them? Get out of there! I took him down, I took him down. Shit! I put a grenade. Back! This is not good, guys. There we go. Shit, no. Back! Merciful soul. Okay, good. Shit, this is this is really bad. <laughs> That's fine. What do we get from machine pistol? Might as well pick up this stuff. Search. What 
threat lost. Okay, good. Fuck. Am I injured at all? No, I'm still good. So much for my super stealthy run, guys. They're even, like, even more guys down here. D. Okay, I see someone way over there. Shit, there's someone there's someone over there too. Okay, let's go but let's go up. We um Jensen, watch your twenty. Working my way through the penthouses. Remember to keep an eye out for the gin's communications booster. If you can disable it. Roger that. I'll try. Are these guys above me or um, below? There's one guy above, a bunch below. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up. I think. I do it from here. Wow, this is, I really like the uh, the level design so far. Lots of different like nooks and crannies to. Exploit. Nothing to report. Over. You guys below. Let me check this floor again. Keep it tight. There's a gas hazard. Interesting. Your uh, implanted rebreather augmentation prevents gas damage. Cool. Let's uh, let's fall down then. Let's see where this takes us. Have to get through this minefield. past this guy. Does he move? I wonder. Doesn't look like it, so... I'm gonna sneak past him. Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Sing any second. Oh man, this is stressful. The people who are coming to you are coming from a little bit. Go and tell the people that I'm going to kill you. And let you be waiting. Patch is clean. Solid copy. Good. I'll re-patch us once the deal kicks off. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up uh, this episode here because it's running rather long. I, I'm really enjoying this, I'm really enjoying this. A bit of a screw up, but hey, we're learning, right guys? This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. Looking forward to the next episode. And I love you all.